Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Regent Doubloon on a GTA 5. Now we have seen the hills around here be a rather dangerous in the past. Manages to get his car to do a, well, kind of a half front flip. And uh, once it starts rolling, really doesn't want to stop. I think the luggage on the roof is uh, kind of helping assist the car and keeping going. That's uh, quite a useful upgrade if you're wanting to uh, do some spectacular rolls. Uh, Dirt Racer 9 is using a, a golf caddy to uh, evade the police. Actually, he's got out of the wanted radius with the vehicle, which is not bad going. Really? Uh, he spots another player and decides to go, uh, you know, try and mow him down with a golf caddy. However, Karma immediately bites back and Physics decides that the golf caddy should probably be on its back. That's, that's an incredibly, incredibly strong player. Uh, Paddy Fancy on GTA 5 is uh, irritating. The fire brigade or when the, uh, I think the low ceiling of the car park has uh, managed to roll the fire truck over. That's an impressive flip. The police also stole a Huntley to come and uh, join in this in this chase. But uh, yeah, apparently fire trucks are not really the best things to go exploring uh, multi-story car parks in. White Mukau on the crew is uh, doing some off-road exploring with the Fiat 500 monster truck. Fantastically crazy things. These, uh, these 500s. And as he's kind of barreling along at 100 miles miles an hour. You would expect this to crush just about everything in its path. That is not the case. The tiniest of brushes on a kind of cactus was enough to launch the Fiat onto its side, and while he can wiggle the steering, it's not going to do anything to rectify the vehicle. Shattered Pixels on the crew is uh, doing one of the challenges with a crew. However, he's a little bit too far away, so he's having to uh, kind of wait up. Gets a little over-enthusiastic with the throttle, spins in front of other cars, and well, then the McLaren decides it's going to wiggle on its nose down the run. Not quite sure what the McLaren was doing physics wise there but uh, there we go Darns 97 is uh, doing one of these skill challenges in his Ferrari when things go a little bit wrong I think it just about lifted up onto two wheels as it came onto the bridge and then gets eaten by a wall and of course he can't get the car out of the wall again because well the front is completely and utterly wedged does manage to get a bronze medal uh, for his uh, for his effort there but uh, yeah the walls are quite dangerous on the crew. Uh, the real Emil is on a Need for Speed Underground 2, taking a shortcut, spots a fellow Mazda, gives it a slight nudge that turns into, well, a really rather large, um, really rather large jump. Not quite sure what uh, upset the <laughs> Mazda quite so much there. He carries on as if nothing could happen. It was uh, quite impressive. Uh, it's simply gaming on a track, Mania Nations, uh, running the multiplayer as Everybody, or almost everybody certainly, up ahead, clips the gate, and now it's raining cars in all manner of upside downness. That was um, quite spectacular. I do love the Trackmania multiplayer, it's fantastic, so you get some really rather crazy and silly sights, uh, such as such as that one. Yeah, that was um, a lot of cars, and there's another one just skidding by on its roof for good measure. Probably be a good place to just kind of sit and watch and, and see... Uh, what might happen with all of the vehicles? There's a couple of cars stuck upside down across the finish line. Impega 1957 is playing around with a, a Ford Raptor, manages to launch it up in the air. The Ford uh, then decides to uh, to repay the favour and bounces the McLaren through the ground. Yeah, perhaps having a, a Raptor up against a Formula One car not such a good idea for the poor Formula One vehicle. Uh, the real rocket on Ford Six doing some night racing at uh, Sebring. As they come down the back straight, the Porsche decides it wants the uh, the Mazda's position, and the best way to get it is to well launch the Mazda up into the. I'm not sure which car is the uh, player's vehicle. You've seen the occasional uh, occasional shunt like that happen on project cars. Can't have ever seen a Forza vehicle uh, lift up a uh, lift up a car and go underneath it. Chris 260 on project cars runs a tad wide, and the scenery gets very angry with him. Apparently that is not a place you are supposed to put your car and he is uh, yeah repaid by well launching the vehicle spiraling up into the air Now we have actually seen cars do this spiral up into the air There was a uh, one of the stock cars did a similar thing It was a sort of a found an unhappy place at the Watkins game pit lane, but uh, yeah this one <laughs> Ran a tad wide, and it's 313 miles an hour backwards up out of the map. King Player 10 on Dirt Rally takes one of the big jumps in Finland, lands it on two wheels, almost gets away with an incredible landing. 
Unfortunately, it was not to be the dirt banking on the outside caught the Fiesta and it cartwheeled its way through the scenery. Uh, DBS 213 on race 07 is uh, minding his own business uh, when the AI up ahead decides to turn into the corner um, that, well, really wasn't there. And then the player, I think, may have got a little distracted, completely and utterly outbreaks himself <laughs> in the last corner. But uh, yeah, well done. Well done, AI. For, uh, for that particular one. Apex Motorsport finally on a next car game, Wreckfest. The race up until this point, going relatively normally. However, around a blind corner, every single vehicle goes off. Every single AI and player, as just an exhaust comes flying past. I don't know where on earth that came off of. Just everything goes wide at that one corner. That, that's impressive. I mean, I can understand, you know, the player flying off the course if he doesn't know quite where the track is, and maybe the odd AI, but just everyone, they're still all kind of scrambling around over that part of the track. That is mighty impressive to have everyone go off at uh, the same corner. You probably couldn't do it if you tried. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the FLRS clip submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.